Heidi high campers. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Sun is starting to come up. It's very flat out there. It's supposed to be horrible and rainy and overcast today. Who knows? It looks quite promising. Well, I didn't really sleep brilliantly last night. Um, started off okay, but then I woke up, needed to go to loot. It was about mm, one o'clock in the morning. Um, and I couldn't get back to sleep after that for ages. Anyway, that answered the question. So Alison yesterday says to me, what time does it get dark? Does it, how, you know, does it get dark? I was like, well, I don't know. I don't think it actually does. Um, at the moment in Orkney, because we're so far north. And I can tell you that one o'clock this morning it was not dark. It was like dusk. As you can see in here, the rain has started. This is a second shower um, in the last half hour. So I've gone for a nice easy breakfast of coffee and porridge. And yeah, I put some salt on it again. As yet, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. Um, all depends. If, if, if this is just on and off showers, it shouldn't be too bad. But this is supposedly here for the next few days. What I'd quite like to do is go and have a shower somewhere. Um, so I'm going to have a look to see what there is. See if there's like a swimming pool or somewhere like that where I can go and have a shower and a swim and a shower and have a nice... You know, that, that gives me something to do today as well. Um, so I'm not really sure what I can do inside while I'm here, but we'll we'll see. I might just spend a few days reading. I brought lots of books with me, especially, and uh, I'd enjoy that. So that'll be quite good. It's coming down quite hard now. It's really quite grotty. Rear windscreen showing it. The van's covered in dust and dirt from like three weeks or so on the road, three and a half weeks on the road. But uh, God knows. Now, I don't know if I'll focus and show you through there, but I'm trying to work out where that. Let me open the window a second. I'm trying to work out whether or not the tide is coming in or the rain is filling up the beach. singing in the rain just singing in the rain what a wonderful feeling i'm happy again look i needed a shower i can't find any public showers and i figured do you know what why not why not apart from it being cold ah! when you're bored in the rain, in the camper van, find things to occupy yourself. So, for example, I decided to sort out my pot noodle basket. And the other basket's food. Now, pot noodles, the proper ones, they're just too wide. They don't stack nice. They're off. So, look. Look what he's done. He's cut them straight on the edges. Look at that. And now, they fit spot on. Brilliant. Increased. Neater storage capacity. Look, the heavens have closed. The rain has stopped. This sudden reprieve is possibly only temporary, so I'm going to have an immediate response and I'm going to go and visit something. I'm back where I was yesterday, where I went kayaking. That was out there. There's that big bull seal. Straight there, look. Right, this is the Brock of Gurness. Uh, I'm actually going to join the free introductory talk. Um, as you can hear, it's really windy. We've also got all the grass cutters here with their strimmers and that. But, you know, yesterday was bright sunshine, no wind and so on. But it doesn't really matter, does it? It's not raining. I don't know why I agreed to have a tour. But I have. But it's not happening just yet. It's got garden in. So I'm just, just waiting. It's quite funny, really. don't know why they're gardening now.
block of Gurnish is really old, uh, from a time anywhere between 100 and 500 BC. It's one of 50 in Orkney, and there's somewhere between 1 and 600 um, suspected sites in Scotland. It's also the best preserved. Um, I'm really sorry about the wind noise. I can't help it. It's blowing a gale here. Um, you think that's bad? I've just had to listen to a talk that I really couldn't hear a damn thing. So, <laughs> yeah, bear with us, yeah? This is the main central structure here. So, 10 foot, 11 foot in that section. All this is around the outside. Um, bed chambers covered, small buildings basically. It's quite an extensive site. That was ludicrous. So I had to wait ages and ages and ages because she was like, well, I can't do the talk because they're, they're doing the gardening. And it's like, yeah, after about 20 minutes, everyone's like, no, that's fine. We can hear you. We can hear you in the lee of the building. And we could, to be fair. You know, the, <laughs> the gardening wasn't a problem. She took us around the side of the building. Couldn't hear a bloody thing. She's like, mm -hmm. I don't want to go. <laughs> so, I'm standing there, I'm getting blown off my feet <laughs> in the teeth of this gale. I didn't understand a bloody word. Anyway, it's a very impressive site, really um, nicely built, nicely constructed. If you're here, visit it. Brock of Gurness. Well, I just stopped to get some fuel in Doonby where it's cheap and uh, went and co op there, did a bit of shopping. Amongst other things, I bought some Scottish specialities. So I got two Scotch dumpling slices. And I got four Piper's fruit slices. Right, which I got, got uh, and which I had with my mug of coffee. Um, the Piper's fruit slices are nice. Not so keen on the Scotch dumpling, but it might be a bit better warm. I might try it warm next, but... Uh, Something for the video anyway, isn't it? <laughs> look, if I look at the centre of the screen, it looks like I'm looking off to the side. I need to look bottom left. <laughs> Top right would be bad. People say when you're visiting Orkney, 
Oh, go to twat. Go to twat. Thinking it's just a village sign somewhere. It was actually an active airfield. Royal Air Force Station twat. There's one here, there's one in Shetland. A pair of RAF twats, in fact. Now this, if I'm not very much mistaken, would be the control tower. Look at that, it's brilliant. I wasn't expecting this. But there's a massive structure. It says here, sudden drop. Which uh, you can see there is. So there's a lot built underneath. And there's various structures behind as well. And this is a, a runoff. Look at that. So I'm going to clamber up this bit, which probably isn't the bit to go into. <laughs> On the roof, up into the actual control tower itself. Uh, there's just one problem. Hmm. A little bit of dereliction there. Let's have a look. Uh, well, some steps. And there, largely missing as well. Oh, look. look at that. So much to see. Well, let's explore around the other side. Aha, uh -huh. promising, promising. Yes, yes, we are in. Into the control tower of Aria Twat. Wow. Well, I can't get into the upstairs, but this is pretty cool anyhow. This is the downstairs of the actual control tower. I very much doubt I can get into the, the buildings below. And to be fair, I don't really want to, want or need to. This in itself is cracking. Great result. So we've got a solid brick built entrance way. Going up. Along there's the stairs to go up. There's the control tower. The chimney for whatever this building below housed. This is a massive structure solidly built too with a commanding position over the flatlands around fantastic well I'm back at Stromness I'm just uh, at the harbour I've just seen that the uh, North Link Ferry is in, the Hamnavo. Now, I have heard a rumour that you can get showers at the ferry terminal, so we'll go and have a look, check that out. I don't think so, um, but we'll see. But look, lovely reflections in the water of the different boats. So, coming round through the harbour, past the fishing boats, we see the Stromness Hotel again in the background. Well, 
Well, conditions certainly aren't what they were this morning, which makes me think, hmm, I'll go for a dive. Now, yesterday when I was kayaking here, there was two, uh, two seals, one over there, one over there, male and female. I've seen both of them this afternoon, so if I'm really lucky, they'll come play with me. If not, I'll just have a quick scout around. I'm not going for a long dive, but hopefully a fun dive. It's already showing some interest. Let's see what happens when I go down. Well that was as good as hoped and as much as could be expected. These are wild seals. It's not like going to the Farne Islands where they're used to the boatloads of divers to come play with you, nibbly fins and so on. These were two wild seals and I could see them. They were nervous, they were shy, they wouldn't come close. They'd come and check me out. It took a while before they'd come close, enough to actually see. But I saw them both and they'd look at me and then they'd swim off and Brilliant, brilliant, I've done it. <laughs> 